Cubs hosting the D-backs. The D-backs are plus 104 on the money line. The Cubs are minus 122. The over-under, seven and a half runs. The D-backs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 205, meaning if you bet them that way. And they win this game outright. You win, they lose by one, you win. And the Cubs laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 168, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And we will have someone going from uh, the Discord family to this game tomorrow. So good on you, uh, DJ Torres. And Fad pitched once against the Cubs this season. Seven innings, three runs, two earned. They lost that game 5-3, to three, and he struck out six. Amanga has yet to pitch against the D-backs. The weather at this game tomorrow is supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be in the 70s from what he was saying, but we will get the accurate weather. 75 degrees, 7 mile an hour winds blowing in, and a 4% chance of rain, so a beautiful day for baseball. Head-to-head. The D-backs are on a two-game winning streak. They are 7-3 and three against the Cubs in their last 10. The road teams won the last three games they played against each other. The home team is 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The underdog is 7-3 and three on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 8-2. and two. There have been four one-run games in their last 10. The under is hitting their last three. The under is 7-3, and three, and the over-under at 7.5 runs is 5-5. Five and five. The D-backs are 4-1 and one in Fad's last five starts. They've won his last four starts, and the under is 3-2 and two in those starts. Five and two-thirds innings pitched, five hits, 1.8 earned runs, four strikeouts, 1.6 walks, 0.8 home runs, 77.4 pitches per game, and 13.4 pitches per inning. So he's pitching towards contact more so than strikeouts, which is helping him get out of these innings. For a manga, the Cubs are 3-2 and two in his last five starts. The over is 3-2 and two in those starts. Five and a third innings pitched, 6.4 hits, 3.4 earned runs, 5.2 strikeouts, one walk per game, one home run per game. His five home runs have come in two games where he gave up two and he gave up three. 91.2 pitches per game, 17.2 pitches per inning. The D-backs are, when this stupid thing wants to click over and load, seven and three in their last 10 and they are Two, four, six, and one in their last seven. 13 runs, 15 runs, seven runs, three runs. 12 runs at a win, seven runs at a loss, five runs at a win, three runs in a win. For the Cubs, they're on a two game losing streak, six and four in their last 10, one and four in their last five. Nine runs, 11 runs, seven runs, three runs. Four runs at a loss, eight runs at a win, two runs at a loss, shut out in a loss. It's not that the Cubs pitchers don't do what they're supposed to do. It's just they really don't get much offensive help. I'm going to take the D-backs with the money line. I'm going to take the D-backs getting the runs, and I'm leaning under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.